Hey guys, so compulsive big purchase, but it's because this one's impossible to get unless you are with limited run games for the very beginning. So, um, I bought this and it was really, really expensive, like collector edition expensive, maybe a little bit more so, but... Um, the thing I got is a limited run games 5th anniversary for just a coin. Um, this little PS Vita box. And like a gold cartridge. But also because I had some, there was some trouble with my order and trying to get to me. The seller was kind enough to also, um, ship me the... Bit Trip presents Runner 2 Future Legend of Rhythm Pack, the limited edition, which I'm going to uh, unbox in the next video. But this one is pretty heavy because of the coin. So I hope no one is upset, but it's pretty disappointing when you have someone who only wants the money and doesn't actually care about collecting things like I do. While I admit I can never really truly say I actually deserve this, but that doesn't mean I can't give it a good, loving, deserving home. And money was really tight for me back then. Back when Limited Run Games was like five years ago, I was even struggling with money just to even get my first car. And even then, a lot of the money was went to fixing it up. So. I had to put priorities over priorities, but now I can have this um, with glee, but yet also with regret, like the profit of regret from Halo, because it's not really truly actual, but anyways. There we go. And that's its little sidebar. Let me... But if anything, though, no, it's my first PS Vita game with the other thing. So, um, we have a limited run game. Train cards. There's like three of them. We'll carefully open that up. And... We'll um, see what's inside. I'm not really going to try and get these packages open now. Let's see. Not really true unboxing unless I show all the contents. If it was just a one. That would be another story, but there's three, so I'm not sure what's in it. So therefore, my hand was forced. We got the holographic five year anniversary limited run games train card. So that's where that came from, that rainbow one. Huh. Then we have this one. And the backs are all the same, that's why I'm not really going to show the back, except for one of them. And the first one because it was a double sided one. And then we got like a gaming skateboard. Okay, I will show it to you. So that's the three train cards that I got with this little fibble stibble. Um, let's see, how do I get this back in here? Yep. 
eventually I'm gonna have to start getting my own binder. The question that matters, am I actually even gonna put the cards in it? That's a question. So we'll put the cards right back in here. And then we have a I presume solid gold PS Vita cartridge, like a mock-up one that has the limited run game symbol on there. Estimated 2015 when they first came out. Stick that back in there carefully so we don't lose it. So even though it says coin, it's not just a coin. It's also, the solid gold cartridge, too. I assume probably they did for the Vita because of the um, shortage for the game cartridges for it. But, anyways, if we can get this coin out that was stuck with stickiness so it stays in place. The forever physical five year anniversary coin, the little cakey five, as well as the limited run symbol again, estimated 2015. And this is what we got for the inside. So, maybe one of these days I'll tell you guys how much it cost me, but for right now, I'd rather keep that under the down low. But when I got a second thing to go on top of that, and when I bought it from the eBay seller, I did not realize that when he said a few goodies, that he meant the uh, limited edition game, which actually has goodies. So this is my not first PS Vita, first PS Vita game. And I'll see you guys in the next video for the Runner 2 game, limited edition.